Hi, it's Amy with Notes from Past Amy. Welcome back to the table for June 23rd, 2023. 30 inks, 30 days. I said that kind of weird and out of order, but that's okay. You know what we're here for. We've been doing this all month. This is Diamine Coco Shimmer. I know it's hard to read, sorry. The clear levers are very cool, but they are a little hard to read. Marcy knew that. It's fine. I got this. Day 23. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, I know it's brown. And a golden shimmer. That's really nice. Can you see the shimmer? I can see the shimmer. So lovely. Let's see what it looks like in writing. Okay. Up, 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 up. I really hope that was dry. Right here, a nice little box. Run it through. There you go. This looks like it's going to be a really nice brown. Doesn't look as dark as Shangri-La, but if we put more ink on there, maybe it would look more like it. Kind of looks like Makassar, but it's warmer. She's right, I do like it. I like those warmer browns. So a little bit of red instead of the cold, like, gray browns. They look like dead trees to me. I just don't prefer them. <laughs> this is really lovely. Really, really lovely. Okay, so... Trying a new D today. Coco Shimmer. I'm guessing this is from... Coco Shimmer? Yeah. From the Shimmertastic line? I'm not really sure. Boom. Cool, I really hope that was in frame. I'm going to put it in a pen and make a card for it. It's kind of a lot to do, but I'm really glad I'm keeping up with these. Whoops. Hold on. Don't sit it down. Shake it up. Because I wouldn't want to finish this month and have all these new cards to make. It's been kind of a ink-heavy month, so I love that. But I also love that I'm not getting behind on making my sample cards. So I found a pen with nothing in it. It's the one from yesterday, yes. <laughs> Since I decided to put that in the pink pen, I'm going to switch this whole body part. It's got the same nib on them and everything. Empty. And since it flexes, I'm guessing, I'm hoping, the shimmer just comes out really well. So it's a nice full fill for me. This is a uh, sock that I'm reusing. I don't know what happened to a couple pairs of my socks, but they, they're not my size anymore. They're way too big. So somehow they got stretched out and won't stay on my foot. So I am repurposing them as ink socks, ink rag socks. It's kind of nice to be able to put your hands right in it and keep them very clean. There we go, beautiful nib. Ultra Flex from Fountain Pen Revolution. Yes. Ooh, lovely. Which reminds me, let's check out that shimmer. There's not a whole lot of shimmer in here. A little bit. That is a really nice color. Maybe I'll get that one instead of Cafe Crema because I guarantee it's a lot more affordable. Okay, let's pull this up and see what we've got. Oh, I love Diamond Shimmer. It's so fine, and it mixes so quickly, and it just behaves beautifully. Do you see that shimmer? Maybe. I need to get better lighting, but right now I'm just having fun with the videos. It's beautiful. It's a... Do I say gold? It almost looks like it's a greeny color. It's really fun. I like it. Okay, cool. I'm going to make the card. I'll be right back. This is a very wet ink. It's probably one of the most weird thread I've had on any of my inks. It kind of reminds me of Ancient Copper. Like a browner version of Ancient Copper. Let's pull out Ancient Copper. Look how wet that is. And I uh, have very artistic O's because my son was sitting by me and... I wanted them to match. So what number is Ancient Copper? Like 28 or something? 
Let me see, I think it's 28. Four, five, six, seven, and yes. Look how wet Coco Shimmer is. But they're very comparable. This one has like a little more orange, and this one's a little more red, I would say. Let's see if I can get those in frame. So, so, so wet. It flowed beautifully. The shimmer was coming out. But see, look, there's nothing on the back of Ancient Copper. And look how much is on the back of Coco Shimmer. I wasn't using any pressure, and usually that Flex, rep, uh, flex Nib writes pretty thin. Like, these lines are not that thick, but when they came together, it made a much thicker line. It's hard to explain. I don't know if I'm doing any kind of decent job with that, but... There they are. You can see why they remind me of each other. More red, more orange. And now that I've got it in a pen, I think I told you I would show you what I do when I ink a pen. That was like three weeks ago. It's very early on. <coughs> Excuse my son sneezing in the background. Um, so we're going to agitate the shimmer. And then write down, this is pen number 37. I can look it up in my log if I forget what number each pen is. And write the day... Yep, recording it the evening before. This is my Jinhao AO X750. Almost forgot the X. Poipul with FPR Ultra Flex. I have two of them, as you can see. And then I write something about the ink. So we're just going to write the name of the ink right here. There's nothing special. Ink of the Year from yesterday. This one has no Ink of the Year status. Uh, Coco Shimmer. You are in my way. And then we'll just put that one to the side. Usually gets closed, but you know. I'm going to find the same pen number in here. 37. Here we go. Looks like I started using it in February, which makes me think I purchased it in February. It's had a couple months off. 22. I was going to say it looks very brown. It's because it is brown, dummy. You forgot already. I usually put purple in this pen. <laughs> this is why I make the pen color and the ink color match. Because I can't remember otherwise. I just can't. Whoops, that was a really bad E. Did I mine? Coco. Right, tiny. Ta-da! Coco Shimmer. And that's how I keep track of everything. I write it in pen log. I write it in currently inked, I guess you would call this little book. It's a some sort of happy notes. It's a little one. It's adorable, and it's got all the pens I've ever inked since the beginning. So, I just keep that to see, you know, how many I've inked every month, or how many of a certain color I had in a month, or whatever. It's had some very useful moments. So, I do go ahead and keep up with that, and then my pen log, I find more useful, generally, but that's how I do it. And if I really love a pen ink combination, I might go to the colored page in the back. My son helped me with these, okay? So they are a uh, seven-year-old helped. I like to color a piece of sticker paper because I like to color on sticker paper a lot and try a word, a little bit of drawing. Somewhere on here is this one used to be, no, it didn't used to be a sample. Usually if it used to be a sample, I'll put that there and the word usually goes up there too, but you know, things get rearranged sometimes. And so if it's a combination I really like, it'll make it to this kind of page, too. There's purple on the back. Let's see? So. Yep, we've had a lot of bleed through, a lot of fun moments, a lot of crazy, <laughs> crazy stuff. This is not the show piece that Simone's and, um, no, Karin, what's her channel? Karina loves to plan that kind of showcase. It's, it's what it is. He'll write, you know, I love you, mommy, daddy, that kind of thing practices alphabet all kinds of crazy stuff but it's super sweet i love that we have this here's the first page we were practicing drawing among us characters so 
We've got Among Us. It's one of his first houses, probably. He loves numbers, so he's always doing um, little math problems. He's like, lol. <laughs> he just learned LOL. <laughs> so I wrote laugh out loud, so I didn't think that was 101. Yeah, he's super funny. But these are his Among Us characters. Sus. And when he draws a line, that's like his arrow. Sus. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, like I said, not a great showcase piece for Instagram or anything, but super fun, memorable, and it's a fun way to play with our inks and see how they look in writing and drawing and splashes and all the things. So I don't know how I got onto that, but anyway, that's what I do when I put ink in a pen and my card for Coco Shimmer and all the things that go with it for day 23. Such a fun color, great little sample. This shimmer is really interesting to me. It doesn't look pure gold. It looks like it's got some green in it. So I don't know if that's how it reacts with the ink or if it's really a kind of uniquely colored shimmer. Yeah, super duper fun. Thanks, Marcy. I will see you all again tomorrow for day 24. Thanks for watching.